right, so this week we're going to be making some scrambled eggs. So in order to make these, you are going to need a whisk, some measuring spoons, rubber scraper, frying pan. Um, you're also going to need two eggs, some milk, um, salt, pepper, and any type of add-ons that you want. So I'm going to actually be adding some cheese into my scrambled eggs. Um, so it's totally whatever you want to make it. Um, so you can make the very basic, or you could, I'm going to add some tomatoes and some cheese into mine um, for my Sunday morning breakfast. Um, so you can really make it however you want. So for the recipe, it tells you, number one, that you're going to be cracking the eggs into a medium bowl. So I'm just going to be using a regular cereal bowl. And we have some eggs. Now, our ultimate goal of cracking an egg is to get a crack from one side to the other, but not on the back. So you don't want to be tapping it so lightly it's not going to do anything. You're also not smashing it where it's going to go all over your countertop, okay? So you want to use a medium pressure, okay? So notice how I have a crack on that side, but no crack on the back, okay? And we are going to use our thumbs to pry it open and put it in there. Now, I have my trash can right beside me. The shelves go directly into the trash can, okay? We don't want to put them onto the countertop or anything like that. Okay, so we want to make sure that all of the egg gets into the bowl. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Taking the egg, cracking it so I have a crack on this side, not on the back. Okay, and I can see, do I have any shells in here? It's going to be very easy for me to be able to um, get any of that out. Now, I'm thinking to myself, what should I do next? I need to be washing my hands. Okay, so make sure... When you are done cracking any of the eggs, we have to wash our hands. So make sure you're using some soap and water. Backgrounds. I am currently using my bread maker to make some bread um, because I ran out and don't really feel like going to the grocery store and all of this. So that is what you hear it's currently needing. So the recipe tells us um, that we are going to be melting one tablespoon of butter over top of medium heat. So I am again going to be looking at which burner I'm turning on and we are going to turn it on to a medium heat. Okay. Now, we are going to put one tablespoon worth of butter in here. The butter is going to help preventing the eggs from sticking and everything. So this is going to melt in here. We want to make sure it melts first before we put in any of the eggs. Okay, so this will just take a few seconds um, in order for it to melt. So we're going to be using a rubber scraper in order to do this. Um, so over there you couldn't really see. So you can see my eggs, they're all whisked up. Um, you can see I added lots of extra pepper um, in there. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna make melt all of this, coating the entire pan. 
Now, you could always make like a double batch of this. If you do that, don't do two tablespoons worth of butter. You still only need one tablespoon worth of butter. Um, so you can add, definitely add lots more eggs into the pan, but you don't need to add any more extra butter. It's just kind of making sure that the pan is not going to stick. The eggs are not going to be sticking because you never want that. Okay, this is getting down there. So just kind of stirring this all around. One thing about cooking, you never want to rush things, okay? Don't just turn it up to really high just because you're like, oh, I want to get it done faster. That doesn't always work for a lot of things that we cook, okay? So my butter is melted, so I'm going to be pouring in my eggs. And the recipe tells us that we are going to do 30 cooking for 30 seconds without stirring or anything, okay? So we want to kind of let it start firming up just a tiny bit. Our goal is we are going to be using the rubber scraper to gently pull towards the center. So we're gonna start off on the outside corners and then pulling it towards us. So the eggs are gonna start cooking, but then we are going to be pulling it towards the center. So all of the cooked eggs are gonna start being in the middle and all of the egg that still needs to cook, it's gonna be on the outside, okay? So it's, again, it's a slower process. However, they taste amazing, okay? So, you should be able to start seeing like through some of the eggs, it might be starting to firm up, okay? Now, if we were making an omelet, typically you would let this sit a little bit longer, okay? Because omelets, you don't want it to be that scrambled egg. You want it to be like the nice circle and everything. And then we would actually flip it, okay? So if you prefer to eat it omelet style, you can always make an omelet here if you prefer that. Today, I'm going for some scrambled eggs. I love some scrambled eggs on some toast, making it into like an egg sandwich. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna lightly start pulling towards the center. Okay, and you can see that it's building up in the center. Okay, very gently. Just kind of pushing it all towards the center. And we're gonna keep doing this until there's no visible egg like that's runny or anything like that, okay? So just kind of picking it up, folding it over. I'm gonna pause the video because this does take about two to four minutes, so I don't wanna have you guys just watching the same thing over and over again, but just very gently lifting, folding over, okay, to get that nice fluffy scrambled egg. So I'm gonna pause this and then we're gonna come back. So we are back. My scrambled eggs are looking amazing. Okay, again, the browns, the black stuff in here is just pepper. Okay, I am actually going to add just a tiny bit of Italian cheese on top of this, so some mozzarella, just letting it be able to melt just a tiny bit um, before I take it off of the pan. I can actually turn off my heat because these are definitely already cooked. Okay, and I have amazing scrambled eggs that I get to eat for breakfast. Okay, so again, if you wanna add different types of meats to yours, you could add some vegetables, um, cheese, anything to make it however you want. Okay, enjoy.